Hey everybody, me again, Channel Practical Power Cool. In today's video, I'm gonna give y'all my top five slinging tips, whether you just started slinging or you've been slinging for a long time. And within these tips, if you haven't slanged before, this will put you on the right path. Hope you enjoy the show. Let's go. Yeah. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So here we go. Slinging tip number one. Okay, this was mostly for the beginners, all right? But like I said, I'm gonna try to give it for everybody. The first one is pretty much learn what you're doing, y'all. Cause uh, a sling isn't like a gun, ain't like a slingshot, like, like, not like you go to the court, you put the bullet in, you pull the trigger. No, cause a lot of people go out there and they think just cause you spin it real fast, right? That's what's gonna make the ball go real fast. You know, you don't spin it real fast and throw it. if you did. If you did, hope I don't hit my truck. But if you just spun it real fast and threw it with the spin, this is what slingers will look like. It doesn't really work like that. All you're doing basically, that's why I like this little thing. It's a foxtail. It's a good training tool, y'all. Basically, this is all it is. A ball on a string. All right, you're taking the ball on the string and just throwing it as far as you can. All right? It's not like, once again, it's not the spin. It's the... Uh, you throwing it, it's using your whole body. So like if you just had this ball, you want to throw a four, you could throw, you could throw a four, boop, like that. Or once you really start throwing it a lot, you can learn how to really sling it. You know what I'm saying? So basically, besides that, all your sling is, let's say this is a string with a ball, it's just holding on to you. So when you spin it, you still, throwing that ball as hard as I can, but it stays on. So, with that being said, okay, there's a few ways of throwing, over the top, side on, or underneath, Balearic style. Just like pitching, y'all. It's a lot of pitching things that, that's similar, okay? So, basically, like I said, the first tip is learn how to throw the rock out the pouch. Okay, learn what you, know what you're doing. Cause like I said, slims can be intimidating y'all. They can be very intimidating. So once you learn what it is, it's very simple. I think we'll have a lot more slingers on the network y'all. So let's see what we can do with this coke camera. All right, y'all, all right, y'all. Let's go jump in the trick. Tip number two, y'all. Tip number two is pretty much a practice tip, all right? It's just for, even if, like I said, even if you've been slinging or just starting to sling, this is a, one of the best ways to practice. Because you just take your swing, go to a lake or something. You know what I'm saying? And what I like to do when I'm out of the lake is I throw it, I hit the spot, and I try to hit the same spot again, okay? Now it's a little upper grade version. I found a ditch, and I'm just gonna try to hit it in the ditch, y'all. But that's tip number two. Go find you some water, an open spot where you ain't gonna hit nothing. You don't have that mentally on your mind where you're gonna hit something, and just throw it out there. Feel, feel free, get loose. You know what I'm saying? Throw it as far as you want, because once you get to, you know what you're doing, and then you can throw it really far, now you're having fun, y'all. Now you're having fun. And one thing I didn't really catch up on on tip number one is when you throw in different styles, you also got to know what you're doing. Because also, like I said, you know, over the top, that's me. That's how you should like doing. But like a good side arm, you don't use as much body and it's fun to do. And before you can really use it, you got to kind of know what you're doing. So anyway, I'm out here. My goal is just to hit it in the middle a few times and we're going to roll on to tip number three. Ah, I hit the water. I'll let you, boy. Good game. Y'all should play it. 
Let's go to trip number three. Rip. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. The weather's getting bad and it's about to rain on my parade. So we have to make it quick. Tip number three. It's a tip y'all heard before, and it's still one that rings true to the day. When you're doing, when you're shooting, slinging out bottles like I am right now, it's a little bit easier because all you have is one target. When you're looking at the Balearic target, you have to, if you see the whole target, you don't focus on the dead center. Yes, the tip is to focus on the dead center, but it's hard to do, all right? So there's two things I do with that. First, I try to think the dead center better, and everything else is invisible, right? That's a little hard to do, but once you do that, you'll be all right. Second thing I do, if that's too hard, it is focus. Think about it like a, a rabbit or a squirrel or even somebody's face right there. Don't even think of nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's a little better. Because if you think of a little dot, you still have a lot of symmetrical figures that you can't go without seeing. But anyway, all right. So third tip, aim small, miss small. This is how you do it, y'all. what we're doing you know like you can't do electrical work unless you know what's going through the wires all right so now that we know what we're doing we went and we started throwing fall so now we're kind of starting to feel a release point good we're throwing good we're doing good third is now we're going back to aiming because aiming is difficult i should have i kind of wanted to do the long distance thing last but I think it's something you should do early because if you start slinging at targets too soon, you might fall off. Because slinging at target is a total different game, y'all. But anyway, tip number three puts it all together that really you don't really think about, but it really helps. Use your lower half of your body. All right? A lot of people, like if you don't know how to throw, like let's say you throw like this. All right? You throw like this. Oh, that rain's coming. You gotta learn how to use your lower half when you're through, all right? So the tip is use your lower half for the body. And with that tip, which is for the beginner slingers and the older slingers, the one that's for the older slingers that I want to give is keep your weight back. When you use your lower body, keep your weight back. If you keep your weight back, you're going to fall. And all your throws are going to you're going to pull them. Keep your weight back so when you're done, you're steady. If your weight's not back and you you're going to fly. But if your weight's back, slap! Get him back, you know what I'm saying?
All right, y'all. There it is. That's the top five slinging tips for if you just started slinging or if you've been slinging for a long time. We'll go through them one more time, y'all. First off, figure out what, what's going on when you're slinging. After you figure that out, then you should start throwing as far as you can just having fun. All right? Throw far in the bayou and a good practice technique is hit a spot and try to hit it again. Third, aim small, miss small. You know what I'm saying? Don't think of a big target, think of a little down in the target. Fourth, use your lower body. Your lower body will hit the target if you're having problems getting the distance you want. Number five, slow down. Find your pace. Me, like I said, I used to like throwing fast. But when you warm up, throw slow. Because once you figure it out, then you can throw as fast as you want. Hope y'all like what y'all seen today. If y'all did, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend. And when you do, tell me that notification bell. Practical pair record. Hey, you don't want to miss it. Keep you entertained. You know that we talking slinging. Catch me in Louisiana. Sling king. Find them down south. Slinging giants like it's David and Goliath. Make sure you subscribe now. Slinging. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>